Yo guys, this is Crescent here. Today I'll be doing something different. Uh, I'll be showing you my house and I'll be doing a series about housing. <clears throat> so basically, I'll be going through different houses and uh, yeah, I'm just going through some really, really cool houses. If you want to want me to visit your house, uh, I can visit PCNA or PCEU. I'm playing on PC uh, EU, so I'll definitely go through more houses in PCEU. And I'll be creating one NA character just to visit the houses in NA. So if you want me to visit your house, just type your ad name in the comments below or just add me as a friend at Krusnik91. I'll write my ad name in the description below, you can check it out. And yeah, so I'm looking forward to see what you guys created. So in this episode, it's about my house, so let's get it started then. Okay, as you can see, when you come inside the main door, you can see a lot of flowers. Um, I created a theme so that left side here, it's a really peaceful garden, eastern theme garden. Right side, it's a really spooky gargoyle, mushroom theme uh, hallway to the to the beach. My house is the Hunting Palacio, some mansion I think, can't remember the name. And this house is really 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 cool, cost me 1.3 million but totally worth it because the size of this house is really really big. Okay, as you can see, when you walk in here, you can see the EP and DC flag. Those are the main factions I pay on. And uh, you can see my little dragon over here. It's not a chicken, it's a dragon. Don't get it wrong because uh, one of my friends came in and said it's a fucking chicken. <laughs> Can't stand him. Alright, and uh, you can see all my crafting stations here in the main door. Because uh, this is just to ease, you know, for... for just very practical to put everything here so when you come in you can craft all your stuff here and there's a dye station as well and there's a enchanting for potions woodworking clothing everything here okay so before i go into the main door i'll just go through the garden really really quickly i have a really nice fountain over here i have some really asian looking trees some kajit team posts and yeah i i, I love this uh, light as well all these interactables make it really really more you know got this rp feeling in this game and you, as you can see all these trees are really really huge and i, I like them i give them give this uh, house a bit more you know compact feeling in this garden and uh yeah this chairs this stool you can sit on them you can interact with the lights as well and yeah and i'm pretty lucky with this uh mount you know, i spent 5k crowns and i got it which is pretty nice and I've uh, got all my bears from uh, old Orsinium patch <clears throat> my first horse I think and yeah as you can see I'm a grand overlord so I got the sexy scroll as well I can change the color of the scroll and got all this uh, statue from all the PvE I did long long time ago <coughs> sorry about my voice uh, <coughs> I'm having a terrible voice at the moment And uh, I bought a monument over there. Not sure what to do with the monument, so yeah, I just plant it in the water. And as you can see, over at the the rocks over there, I made it like a volcano feeling. So I planted two oils into the rocks, and uh, yeah, give that a bit of a you know lava feeling, volcano feeling to the rocks. <laughs> but those are just uh, oils from Cyrodiil. All right. Um, yeah, you, I bought this from Cyrodiil as well, the Way Shrine. Mm. <clears throat> this, I think to get this Wavery flag, you need 3 stars, I think, Grand Warlock. Which is pretty nice because it's uh, it's moving compared to other flags. And here's my fishing spot. You can sit down here as well, I think. Yeah, just do some fake fishing. I wanted to do Master Angular though, but it's so troublesome to get the boat because I have a have a sea over here, a river. But if I got a fake boat over there, so I guess that's good enough. <laughs> and here I do all my uh, laundry over here. And I'll show you my most expensive item in this whole house, the blood fountain. As you can see, you can turn the blood on, you can turn the blood off. Pretty cool. Uh, why not 
I got a filthy shred <laughs> scroll, so I just put another scroll on top of this uh, blood fountain just to make it a bit more cooler. And as you come inside this uh, spooky mushroom team uh, hallway, you can see this uh, gargoyle welcoming you, which is pretty friendly, I guess. And I bought this weird, weird, spooky looking plant. I don't even know what it is. And it is moving as well, so ugh. Alright, let's uh, get into the indoors now. Of course, as a guild master, you need uh, the Emperor Ruby Throne to boost your ego. <laughs> so you can sit down and have a guild meeting with your mates. Uh, and you have the Queen over here. You can sit here. If you are a chick, you can sit on this chair. Alright. Okay, so um, this is where you have your dinner and stuff. You got potato, you got your bread, you got some kebabs. Got a bowl of uh, soup, I guess. Got some wine. Then here is where I prepare all the food for the RP field. Got some pumpkins, radish, carrots, cabbage, and here's the provisioning station and stuff. Okay, on the other side, uh, is as you can see, I put a, a scroll here in, inside as well for the lighting, which is really cool. So I can save a lot of space uh, for lighting because. I already maxed out all my 600 space for this house, so I can't add any more, any more things into this house anymore. And I put a scroll down here for the lighting as well. As you can see, all these are the, uh, yeah, all the trophies I got. Some are really, really cool. Some are really, really ugly. Like, uh, Dragon Star Arena is pretty nice. White Goat Tower is pretty cool as well. Malubeth is pretty decent as well. What is this? I don't even know what is this and what is this. Looks so really freaking weird. But yeah, I still need to do more PvE to get all of the buses and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get them all and just throw them in this room. Okay, now to the top floor. Yeah, I love these paintings. I think these are the loading screens, I'm not so sure, but they look really really awesome. And this is the library. I still need to put a bit of furniture here, some sh more shelves, more books, but I guess now we'll do. Yeah, put some books over here some candles for the lighting you know and some kajit red guard chairs just to you know for the immersion you know the rp immersion all right and uh, if you move to the other side that is the bedroom and as you can see yeah the typical you can put the closet and stuff uh some a bed some candles some chairs yeah and yeah that's about for the bedroom now uh I'll show you guys, before I show you guys my awesome spooky dungeon, I'll just go through the the wedding wedding balcony, so-called balcony, uh, you can see here. Uh, last week you can buy these items, I think, uh, it's, I can't remember where you buy them, but it's from a vendor. And uh, yeah, this is where you can get your wedding done here. Here is, uh, what you call that, the sh Mara Shrine. Um, yeah, and you have some flowers over here for the lighting. It's pretty pretty nice. A little sissy, you know, a bit girly, but because I got no idea what should I do with this balcony up here, so I'll just put some, I guess, some flowers, some bushes, uh, and make it something to do with wedding theme, I guess. All right, now for the interesting part, we'll get to my spooky spooky dungeon on the rooftop. As you know, uh, if you bought this house, you know that the rooftop is empty, so you can do a lot of stuff with the rooftop. And what I did is I covered it up, I make it really dark. Now it's really really bright in the evening, so it's uh, it's not spooky, but if it's at night, it will be really really nice, as I show you. Okay, so I built this uh, planks over here to get up to the top floor, to the rooftop, and at the night, uh, it will be really dark, and the light source will be from this uh, fountain this uh, light over here and these flowers here and the candles so it'd be really really spooky and this is where you have a, I don't know have a chit chat with your friends over here and while we stare into the light <laughs> I guess yeah and uh, if you, as you move over this um, this side we can see some spooky stuff in between and you move over here this is the bedroom the spooky bedroom and you can sit on this chair wait it's uh, not well adjusted 
alright? You can chat with your scrams and everything. I love this uh, particular scam over here. I'll zoom in and show you guys. This guy is looking left and right, he's like talking to them. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Yo. Now he's looking left. Hey, hey. <laughs> and these two are just idiots, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool, I guess. I got a skeleton up here. And you got your bed. Got some really, really scary looking statues. Uh, and this bed is where all the magic happens, you know? Wink, wink. <laughs> Got your uh, spooky Daedra, team books, pumpkins, uh, candles, potions, soul gems and stuff. And to access this room, you can either go from where we came from, from the balcony, or you can go from the the last place I want to show you, where is this is the second spot for guild meeting. You can come up from here, and uh, you can just, yeah, I like this throne, you know, just to boost my ego as a guild master. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. And yeah, I got a, of course, you need lighting for the scroll. It would be really, really nice though, this room at night. So, this house is actually based on, at, uh, based on, really, will look really, really awesome at night. I should have done my video at night, but whatever, I guess. And you can have uh, all your mates sitting on these uh, cheap chairs while you, uh, you know, you sit on the, the throne over here. Alright. And uh, the last part I'll show you was. Uh, the camps that I planted up here as you can see uh, this is the DC cam and EP cam I really got no idea where should I put my cam that's why I just leave them on top and they look pretty good in my opinion and yeah you can look at uh, the whole view from this side from the house and everything which I find really really cool and yeah, I guess I gone through everything about my house. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the video. And the next episode, I'll be going through some different different houses. Hopefully, I'll find some really really cool houses that you guys uh, created. And I'm looking forward to it. And I guess I'll see you guys in Cyril then. Okay, bye bye guys.